Once upon a time, in a small, peaceful town nestled deep within the woods, an unsettling presence began to cast its sinister shadow over the unsuspecting residents. Whispers of a faceless monster dressed in a sleek, tailored suit began to spread through the town like wildfire, sending shivers down the spines of all who heard. The town's once vibrant atmosphere was now cloaked in an eerie silence, broken only by the soft rustling of leaves and the distant hoot of an owl. Doors remained locked, curtains drawn shut, and children forbidden from venturing out after dark. Fear had crept its way into the hearts of the townspeople, and nobody dared to utter Slenderman's name aloud. One moonlit night, a young woman named Emily found herself unable to shake the tales that saturated her thoughts. She became consumed by her curiosity, determined to uncover the truth behind the haunting legend. The slender figure with elongated limbs and the absence of a face was etched into her mind, beckoning her to challenge her fears. Emily embarked on a perilous journey to hunt down any information she could find, scouring dusty libraries and speaking to those brave enough to share their encounters. But every step she took brought her closer to the enigmatic monster, and unknowingly closer to becoming another tragic tale within the town. Days turned into weeks, and rumors trickled into her ears of shrouded figures lurking amidst the trees. The once insignificant noises of the night seemed to deepen, magnifying the solitude she now found herself in. Emily's relentless search for answers had led her straight into Slenderman's grasp. One chilling evening, as the moon hung high above the trees, Emily stumbled upon a hidden clearing within the woods. The hair around her grew heavy, tinged with an otherworldly presence that sent icy tendrils crawling over her skin. Despite the sinister aura, Emily pressed on, her heart pounding with equal parts fear and determination. The silence was broken by a soft whisper as if carried by the wind, calling her name from the shadows. Emily's eyes darted nervously, searching for the source of the ethereal voice. In the corner of her vision, she caught a glimpse of a tall, slender figure draped in a black suit, standing at a distance. With each step she took, the figure seemed to grow taller, their elongated limbs writhing like dark tendrils in the dim moonlight. There was no indication of movement, no footsteps echoed through the clearing. Slenderman was simply there, quietly observing her from the abyss of his featureless face. A paralyzing fear gripped Emily, tempting her to flee, but something prevented her from doing so. She couldn't tear her eyes away from those empty, soulless voids where I should have been. The thought of becoming another missing soul, consumed and forgotten, fueled her bravery. As the moon veiled itself behind a thick layer of ominous clouds, a sense of impending doom settled upon the clearing, suffocating the very air Emily breathed. The silence became deafening, lending a haunting rhythm to her racing heartbeat. She could almost taste the malevolence that pervaded the atmosphere, seeping into her pores like a poisonous vapor. With every cautious step Emily took, the world around her shifted, distorting into a macabre dreamscape. Shadows danced and twisted, writhing like sinister specters bound to Slenderman's will. The very ground beneath her seemed to sway, threatening to consume her whole as she ventured deeper into the clutches of an unfathomable terror. Time lost its meaning in that accursed clearing, as if trapped within the clutches of an eternal night. Everything became a blur, a haze of flickering images and unsettling whispers that clawed at the fringes of her sanity. Emily's mind teetered on the precipice of madness, her grip on reality slipping with each advancing moment. Through the darkness, a distant echo reached her ears, reverberating with a cacophony of agonized wails and tormented cries. It was a chorus of lost souls, a symphony of despair that resounded within her very soul. Trembling, she longed for escape, for the return to the simplicity of her quaint town. But Slenderman's grip tightened, ensnaring her in a web of desolation. 
As Emily had journeyed into this nightmarish realm seeking answers, she now realized that they were not answers she would find, but something more sinister and devastating. The truth of Slenderman's existence was a void she blindly stumbled towards, with each step deepening the abyss of her own demise. And thus, the tale of Emily and Slenderman takes a darker turn, an abyss from which few emerge and skate. The secrets held within that hidden clearing are whispered in hushed tones, tales passed down through generations as a chilling reminder of the monster that lurks within the human psyche. Emily's mind, now teetering on the brink of insanity, searched desperately for a glimmer of hope amidst the suffocating darkness. But every flicker of light was snuffed out by the impenetrable void that Slenderman cast upon her soul. She had stepped into a nightmare from which there seemed to be no awakening. The very fabric of reality warped and twisted, succumbing to Slenderman's malevolent influence. The gnarled branches of the tree shifted and groaned, their skeletal forms reaching out like gnarled claws, ready to ensnare her within their grasp. The ground beneath her feet convulsed, as if the earth itself recoiled from the presence of the unholy specter. Emily's vision blurred as her surroundings became a distorted labyrinth of maddening proportions. Whispers, ghoulish and disembodied, echoed through the air, taunting her relentlessly. She strained to make sense of the distorted voices, to find a breadcrumb of logic in this twisted realm, but it was a futile endeavor. With each agonizing step she took, Slenderman loomed ever closer, his elongated limbs reaching out to touch her, an unspoken promise of doom. She could almost feel the icy tendrils of his touch slicing through her sanity, fragmenting her very essence. Emily was merely a pawn now, a plaything in the grand orchestration of terror that Slenderman reveled in. Time ceased to exist in this nightmarish realm. Seconds stretched into eternities, and the boundary between nightmare and reality dissolved. Emily's mind, shattered and frayed, grappled with the truth that was both inevitable and horrifying. There was no escape, no salvation from the clutches of this abomination. And so, the tale of Emily and Slenderman plunges further into the inky depths of despair. Lost in the twisted recesses of the human psyche, secrets remain enigmatically sealed within that barren clearing, an enigma that haunts the dreams of those who dare cross its path. As Emily's psyche crumbled, the boundary between nightmare and reality blurred beyond recognition. A cacophony of anguished screams filled the void, reverberating with lost souls consumed by Slenderman's perverse power. The darkness itself seemed alive, pulsating with its own twisted heartbeat a malevolent force that threatened to devour everything. In its path, Emily's own reflection became a distorted mockery, a mere semblance of the person she once was. Her grip on reality slipped further as she danced on the precipice between existence and oblivion. The tendrils of Slenderman's influence coiled tighter around her suffocating her with a suffocating grip that left her gasping for air. No longer in control of her own fate, Emily was drawn deeper into the labyrinthine web spun by the faceless monster. The landscape round her shifted with each breath, morphing into an ever-changing nightmare. Always appeared where there were none, leading her to dead ends and twisting her sense of direction until it was irreparably lost. Whispers, dark and seductive, slithered through the air, luring her closer to her inevitable demise. Echoes of the tormented echoed within her mind, their cries etching scars upon her soul. She clung to flickers of fading hope, desperately trying to find a sliver of light amidst the suffocating darkness. But as her journey unraveled further into madness, the darkness revealed its true nature. It was not merely the absence of light, but a sentient evil that fed on her fear. Reveling in her suffering, the malevolence that infused fear grew palpable, staining her very essence with an indelible mark. Emily's world became a twisted reflection of her own shattered psyche, 
a nightmare from which she could not escape. The boundaries of her existence blurred into a maelstrom of horror, as her mind unraveled thread by thread. She was caught in a perpetual cycle of torment, trapped and ensnared in Slenderman's grip. And so, the tale of Emily and Slenderman plunges even deeper into the abyss, a descent into the void of the unimaginable. The secrets hidden within that haunted clearing remain locked away, whispered only in the darkest recesses of our collective nightmares. Emily's essence frayed like a thread and reveling from the fabric of reality. She teetered on the precipice of annihilation, the harrowing whispers of the abyss intertwining with her fractured mind. The boundaries of time and space warped, folding into themselves and entwining her fate further with the enigmatic Slenderman. The very air grew dense with malevolence, suffusing Emily's every breath. Shadows twisted and writhed, a grotesque ballet of darkness that seemed to mock any semblance of hope. The once familiar woods transformed into a labyrinth of nightmares, where she was forever lost in a macabre game orchestrated by an inscrutable monster. Beyond the veil of sanity, Emily's senses became heightened, attuned to the terrors that lay hidden in the depths. Phantasmal whispers echoed through the void, their tormenting symphony luring her deeper into the abyss. Though her spirit was fractured, a flicker of defiant determination burned deep within her soul. With each confrontation against the grotesque forces that Slenderman commanded, Emily clung to her fragmented sanity. She wielded slivers of hope against the looming darkness, unwilling to surrender herself to the insidious influence of the faceless monster. The battle between light and shadow raged within her, a war that threatened to tear her fragile existence asunder. In her darkest moments, as despair threatened to consume her, Emily glimpsed fleeting fragments of Slenderman's origin, a forgotten past drowned in sacrifice and sorrow, woven into the very fabric of his being. Whispers of a curse, of an eternal hunger, a symbiotic dance of agony between him and his victims. But the truth remained veiled, elusive beneath layers of spectral deception. The story of Emily and Slenderman entwined in an eternal dance, one that defied comprehension and mocked the limits of mortal understanding. Their destinies were entangled, inseparable threads in the tapestry of darkness. And thus, this grim tale stretches onward into the abyss, an eternal chronicle of horror that defies resolution. The secrets concealed within that cursed clearing remain locked away, whispered only as chilling legends passed from trembling lips. In the chilling culmination of the cursed chronicle, Emily and Slenderman stood face to face, locking eyes in a macabre battle of wills. Time seemed to halt, the very fabric of reality straining under the weight of their opposing forces. A deafening silence settled over the clearing, pregnant with impending doom. Emily's tethered, fragmented spirit surged with an indomitable strength, fueled by a flicker of defiance that burned brighter than ever before. With every ounce of her being, she resisted the seductive promises of oblivion, refusing to succumb to the darkness that threatened to consume her. Slenderman, a towering abyss of malevolence, reveled in this final confrontation. His form flickered, an ethereal presence that seemed both solid and intangible. A mocking smile etched itself upon his faceless void, as if relishing the desperation in Emily's eyes. But in that uncompromising moment, Emily's unfathomable strength finally shattered the veil of deception. She saw through the fouade, the intricate web spun by Slenderman himself. No longer a mere victim in his wicked game, she transformed into a beacon of resistance, a symbol of human resilience against the encroaching darkness. With raw determination, Emily tapped into the depths of her courage, channeling an ancient force that lay dormant within her. An ethereal light, silent yet blinding, emanated from her very core, casting back the shadows that threatened to consume her. The faceless monster recoiled, its once overwhelming presence faltering in the face of her newfound power. 
A battle ensued. A clash of monumental proportions that reverberated through the fabric of existence. Each strike sent distorted ripples cascading through the twisted reality, causing the very ground to tremble beneath their feet. Emily fought with every ounce of her strength, galvanized by the sheer will to reclaim her life and break free from Slenderman's insidious grip. But, dear reader, the details of this climactic struggle shall remain forever enigmatic. For the resolution of such an enigmatic tale is a story that only shadows can whisper. The destinies of Emily and Slenderman may be forever entwined or vanquished in eternal darkness. It is a conclusion that rests beyond the veil of mortal comprehension. In the echoes of that cursed clearing, remnants of their battle linger, haunting the dreams of those who dare to venture to close. The secrets held within this twisted tale, whispered only in the darkest corners of chilling folklore, serve as a chilling reminder that monsters exist not only in the realms of darkness, but within the depths of our own souls. And so, Dear reader, the story of Emily and Slenderman reaches its chilling end. Lost in the enigmatic shadows of a dread-filled embrace, what lies beyond that final chapter remains forever shrouded in uncertainty. A ghostly legacy that will echo throughout time, ensuring that the true horrors of their tale will never fade.